Okay, so our next category is going to be the Erie Canal. Now, the Erie Canal was especially important because previously, farmers, especially in like the New York area, really only did what's called subsistence farming. So if you want to write down subsistence farming, which basically meant they only produce enough crop necessary for themselves as well as other farmers around them. And so they became basically uh, the grocer of the town, you could say, making multiple different things. Now, however, if you will highlight, farmers in New York are globally linked, both economically and personally. This begins, basically, if you want to put right above this, um, this becomes commercial farming. And so what happens is, is that now people are able to basically um, send their crops domestically, foreignly, whatever it could be, via trade, and it was extremely beneficial. Now, something else actually really interesting happens too, um, and that is because, if you will highlight, towns begin to be known for specific crops. So, for example, um, think about what the nickname is for New York, the Big Apple. That's because apple orchards become really popular throughout New York, and so what happened is, is that they began to um, send this single apple, they became very famous for it, and that's why it's called the Big Apple. So it also begins more, if you want to put next to that, specialized farming where you have a specific crop to be able to grow. One interesting thing about the Erie Canal is it has a lock system. If you don't know what a lock system is, that's what it looks like. So you have the upper uh, up here, the um, water, and then you need to be able to get down because you have a massive elevation gain and decline depending on where you're at in the Erie Canal. So if you want to go down, you basically float your boat in here, and then they suck all the water out until you get to the lower amount, and then you can be able to go from there. If you want to go up the lock system, then you go into the lock system, they pump water in, and then you eventually get to the same level as up here, and then you continue through. Um, you can still actually travel the Erie County today as well.